Hi, I'm Jessica Taylor, and in this video, I want to show you a fun fold card that is almost two cards in one. It opens to the right, then it opens to the left. You'll find all the paper sizes, the dimensions that you need to cut your paper to underneath this video. So to make the two card bases that form this card, you're gonna start with the bottom piece. This is four and a quarter inches by eight and a quarter inches, and you're gonna score that at five and a half inches. Like so. For the top little card, this is actually a mini three by three card when it's finished. And so this is three inches by six inches, and we're gonna score that at three inches. And there is your little card for the top. I do like to use my bone folder to just give it a nice crease so that it'll stay shut better. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that on both of my card bases. And then basically we're just gonna tape some um, decorative pieces on top of there. So you can decorate these bases however you want. I'm gonna start with um, putting a real red piece on the inside. And then on top of that, I'm going to put a decorative mitten patterned paper. So this piece here is four inches by five and a quarter inches. My mitten paper is three and three quarter inches by five inches. And if you wanted to make your card a little less bulky, you could leave off this piece and just add um, one layer here on the background. So then I'll go ahead and do the same thing. I'm gonna layer these pieces on the front. So this mitten piece is two and a quarter inches by three and three quarter inches. And I'm gonna put that on a real red piece that is, let's see, two and a half by four inches. And then this will fit right on that front flap. Again, you could leave one of these layers out if you didn't want to have so many layers on your card because this one here does get a little bit thick. Then I'm going to go ahead and attach my mini card so that it opens to the right and I want it to be under this flap because this will open to the left. So I'll put some tape on the back of this. And then I'm just going to center this on that mitten paper. And that'll fold in there. I have a red piece that I'm going to put on the front. And this is two and three quarter inches by two and three quarter inches. And then, of course, you can decorate the front any way that you want. I'll show you what I did here in just a second. And then I have a piece of Whisper White for the inside that is also two and three quarter inches by two and three quarter inches. And what I love about this card is that it gives me just a little bit of space to write. So if you have some people that you're sending Christmas cards to that you don't have a whole lot that you wanna to say to them, this is the perfect card because it just gives you a little bit of space uh, maybe to write their name and Merry Christmas and your name. So that is the basics of the fun fold card. And I just wanted to show you how I added this cute little snowman on the front because it was super easy. This mitten paper actually comes in a pack, and this is another piece of paper that's in the pack. You can get a snowman punch from Stampin' Up! that punches out this snowman perfectly. So I just use the snowman punch to punch that out. And then there's also another piece of paper in this pack that has a whole bunch of hats. So I think I'm gonna cut a corner off down here with a couple hats that I could use. And then you just need to line up your hat in the punch. So it's easiest to turn your punch upside down. Then you'll have to turn your paper until your hat goes the right way. And you might have to cut your paper down even more to make it fit. Like I didn't, I need to cut more off of one of these sides. Kind of cut this little hat out so I can use that on something else. So now I can just center that hat in there, punch it out, and then I just used some regular snail adhesive to put my snowman right on the front there. And of course you could put anything you want on the front. You could stamp your own snowman. 
and basically just use this um, base fun fold card idea to make cards for any occasion. So I do hope that you love this creative card fold and we'll give it a try. Here's a sneak peek at next week's creative card fold.